It's considered to be the earliest high culture of Central America. In the lively streets of Mexico's bustling metropolis, revelations about its intricate history often remain hidden, awaiting discovery. Considering its complex past, it is quite possible that beneath the busy streets lies an intriguing archaeological secret waiting to rewrite Mesoamerican records. What untold mysteries might lie beneath the surface of Mexico City? How might these hidden secrets reshape our understanding of the past? From the architectural marvel of the Tenochtitlan Tunnel to the chilling remnants of Aztec sacrificial sites, join us on a journey to uncover how scientists discovered something terrifying hidden in Mexico. Mexico is a vibrant nation nestled in the southern region of North America. Mexico shares its borders with the United States, Guatemala, and Belize. It is the 11th most populous country globally, boasting a rich history and culture that traces its roots to ancient civilizations like the Mayans and Aztecs. Mexico's landscape is filled with breathtaking natural wonders, encompassing expansive deserts, towering mountains, and pristine beaches. A fascinating contrast emerges within its boundaries, where modern cities coexist harmoniously with ancient ruins and traditional villages. This country has abundant natural resources, including oil, silver, and copper. Today, it is the world's leading producer of silver. But there's more to Mexico besides the glamour, including some downright terrifying things. Here are discoveries unearthed by scientists in Mexico. Templo Mayor Ruins the Aztecs were famous for their deep connection with the supernatural. Indeed, most excavations and archaeological findings related to this civilization underscore that their architectural marvels were grand tributes to their deities. The Aztecs spared no effort in seeking to appease the gods above all else. They held Templo Mayor, also known as the Great Temple of Tenochtitlan, in the highest regard. Today, this religious site is one of UNESCO's prestigious World Heritage Sites. Since the last quarter of the 20th century, dedicated archaeological efforts in the region have unveiled the wonders of this enigmatic civilization. Led by the renowned archaeologist Eduardo Matos Moctezuma, these endeavors yielded detailed understandings of the religious and secular aspects of Aztec life. Eduardo's archaeological mission successfully unearthed the temple's intricate sculptures, featuring sacred snakes and serpents, a priestly school, bathing facilities, private chambers, and more. Yet, despite these significant discoveries, a substantial part of Aztec civilization still lies beneath Mexico's bustling modern life. There is much to unravel regarding ancient Mexico's bizarre, blood-soaked, and captivating religion. If you ever have the opportunity to visit this historic temple, you'll be astounded by what locals say about it. In many ways, Templo Mayor is considered one of the most haunted sites in Mexico. Many visitors have reported experiencing eerie sensations while walking on this controversial temple. They find it challenging to explain, but it leaves them deeply unsettled. It often prompts a strong urge to leave immediately, as if something dreadful has happened or is about to occur. To add to the mystique, some locals have consistently mentioned sightings of dark shadows in the vicinity. While these accounts could be folklore or elaborate hoaxes, the rituals of the Aztec religion may give one pause for thought. The ancient Mexicans were known to sacrifice humans to appease their gods. The priests carried out these gruesome acts on various individuals, from enslaved people to prisoners, in the most brutal manner imaginable. Their hearts would be ceremoniously torn out and raised into the air as an offering to the gods. Archaeological records indicate that the temple's opening ceremony marked the commencement of these ritualistic sacrifices. During the peak of these ceremonies, an astonishing 4,000 prisoners of war would become offerings to the deities. It was also a stern and chilling message to neighboring tribes that might have harbored hostile intentions towards the Aztecs. If the battle turns in our favor, we have the most inhumane punishment in store for you. While our understanding of the ancient Aztec religion remains frustratingly incomplete, it is evident that such practices no longer exist within the indigenous Mexicas. By the 16th century, the inhumane religious rituals of the civilization had completely disappeared. However, the discovery of vast collections of human bones at the site serves as a chilling reminder of these practices' widespread and brutal nature. Evidence suggests that the remains of the deceased were left to decompose on the temple steps and their hearts were cast into the air once the ritual was concluded. 
Now it becomes clearer why Templo Mayor is rumored to be haunted. The Aztec Death Whistle The Aztec Death Whistle is an enigmatic artifact that has captivated the attention of archaeologists and history enthusiasts alike. Unearthed in Mexico during the early 1990s, this ghostly whistle has puzzled many researchers by its purpose. Crafted from clay, it takes the form of a human skull, complete with a jawbone and eye sockets. According to Aztec mythology, the death whistle was central in sacrificial ceremonies. It functioned as a tool to invoke the spirit of the underworld god, Mictlantecutli. Additionally, it was thought to instill fear in enemies' hearts during battles. When the whistle was blown, it produced a noise resembling the anguished wail of a dying human. This sound is widely recognized as one of the most spine-tingling to ever emanate from a musical instrument. The Aztec death whistle has undergone extensive scrutiny, with researchers attempting to replicate its eerie sound to fathom its impact on Aztec society. To produce this haunting sound, one must blow into the whistle's mouthpiece while covering the holes on the top of the skull. The resulting noise is bone-chilling and can be heard from a considerable distance. In recent years, the Aztec death whistle has gained popularity among musicians and sound designers who have incorporated its unique sound into their music and film projects. However, its true purpose and significance within Aztec culture remain mysterious. Many archaeologists propose that the Aztec death whistle symbolized power and fear, playing a pivotal role in shaping the culture and beliefs of the Aztec civilization. The whistle's intricate design and ability to produce such a haunting sound testify to the Aztec people's advanced acoustics and materials engineering knowledge. The discovery of the Aztec death whistle has illuminated the rich history of the Aztec civilization, shedding light on the beliefs and rituals that shaped their existence. It remains a captivating artifact that intrigues researchers and history enthusiasts alike. The Aztec death whistle conceals further secrets and mysteries, waiting to be unveiled with time. The Cenote Sacrifice The Cenote Sacrifice in Mexico has left archaeologists in awe, shedding light on the intriguing practices of the ancient Maya civilization. Within this civilization's religious beliefs, sacrificial rituals involved offering objects and even people to cenotes, natural sinkholes filled with water. The revelation emerged from divers exploring underwater caves in Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. Among the treasures found in the watery depths of the cenote were precious artifacts made of jade and gold. According to findings, the Mayans sacrificed these items during drought or famine, hoping to appease their deities and bring about much-needed rainfall. It's worth emphasizing that the custom of human sacrifice was not exclusive to the Mayans. Other Mesoamerican societies also partook in similar rituals. This specific cenote is believed to be older than a millennium, offering a unique portal into the cultural and religious traditions of the ancient Maya. Dedicated researchers have been tirelessly analyzing the artifacts and remains retrieved from the cenote. The cenote sacrifice in Mexico has opened up an exciting new avenue for scientists to gain deeper insights into the Maya civilization and their way of life. This extraordinary find has sparked worldwide interest among scientists, reigniting a fascination with the Maya civilization and its rich culture. The discovery of the cenote sacrifice in Mexico represents a momentous archaeological discovery that unveils a significant aspect of the ancient Maya's religious practices. Furthermore, it underscores the importance of preserving cultural heritage sites, with the potential for ongoing research to unveil additional dimensions of Mayan customs and traditions. Mapimi Silent Zone Durango Did you know that Mexico has its equivalent of the Bermuda Triangle? It's called the Mapimi Silent Zone in Durango and is renowned for being one of the country's most peculiar and mysterious regions. While no aircraft have disappeared here, the area is known for its strange phenomena, leaving locals and visitors with an eerie feeling. In the Mapimi Silent Zone, unusual occurrences are common. Radio frequencies mysteriously vanish and mobile phone signals become nearly non-existent. Getting assistance can be a significant challenge if you have a flat tire in this area. Before dismissing these incidents as mere conspiracy theories, it's important to note that numerous unexplained events have occurred here, leading many to believe that supernatural forces might be at work. Locals have reported experiencing phenomena that defy scientific explanations, and paranormal theories often seem like the most reasonable explanations. 
A striking parallel to the Bermuda Triangle emerged when tourists and locals discovered that compasses do not seem to function within this region. Many have attempted to use them, but their most reliable navigation tools failed to work, creating a sensation as if the place is trying to trap them indefinitely. Despite people managing to leave the Mapimi Silent Zone without incident, most opt not to return. The region lacks cellular network coverage, and radio signals are significantly disrupted. In 1966, an oil exploration company tried to establish a communication channel using radios, but the region's abnormal behavior earned it the nickname Silent Zone. What truly unsettles people in this area is the haunting legend of a blonde woman whose ghost is said to wander the main roads of the Mapimi Silent Zone. Multiple tourists and locals have shared similar stories of a blonde woman approaching passing cars and requesting water. Some drivers stop to help her while others are too apprehensive to do so. Regardless of the driver's response, the woman vanishes into thin air as if she were never there. However, this legend is the beginning of the region's mysterious stories. The Mapimi Silent Zone has gained local celebrity status, attracting wild theories about its eerie atmosphere. Alien enthusiasts and extraterrestrial hunters believe that astrological influences are at play here. The region's natural frequency is atypical and has caused significant psychological distress for prolonged visitors. This theory of alien influence also suggests that following a series of meteor impacts, the area lost its appeal and was essentially transformed into an abandoned cemetery. The Mapimi Silent Zone has had its share of meteorite strikes, with three notable impacts occurring in the 20th century, specifically in 1938, 1958, and 1969. The alien invasion theory also gained traction following a significant incident involving the Air Force's Athena rocket. In 1970, this rocket was launched from Green River in Utah with the intended destination of New Mexico in the United States. However, to everyone's surprise, the rocket landed miles from its planned location in the heart of the Mapimi Silent Zone. This incident created quite a stir since the Air Force struggled to explain why the rocket had abruptly changed its course. People were understandably irritated, and it allowed alien enthusiasts to advance their theory. But whether you find these theories intriguing or outlandish, the enigmatic reputation of the Mapimi Silent Zone continues to endure. The Tula Archaeological Site the Tula archaeological site in the Mexican state of Hidalgo is a testament to the ancient Toltec civilization. The Toltecs flourished between the 9th and 12th centuries AD in central Mexico. They were renowned for their artistic achievements, including distinctive stone sculptures, and they excelled in architecture and engineering. The Tula archaeological site is one of Mexico's most significant Toltec sites. It houses the ruins of a once thriving city, complete with temples, palaces, and ball courts. Notably, the site features impressive stone columns intricately carved with Toltec designs and motifs. The Atlantean figures are the most famous structures, towering over four meters tall and depicting ornately dressed warrior figures. Excavations at the site have unveiled insights into Toltec life and culture, including evidence of human sacrifice, such as the remains of sacrificed children and various artifacts like pottery, jewelry, and tools. Additionally, the site includes several ball courts used for the popular Toltec sport of ulama, a form of handball played with a rubber ball. The city is wrapped in captivating myths and legends. One legend suggests that the city was founded by C.E. Akatl Topiltzin Quetzalcoatl, a warrior hero believed to be a god in human form. In contrast, others claim it is the birthplace of the Aztec god Quetzalcoatl. Visitors to the Tula archaeological site can explore the city's ruins, delving into Toltec history and culture. Surrounded by a picturesque countryside, the site also attracts hikers and nature enthusiasts. The Tula archaeological site combines rich historical significance with natural beauty. It remains a must-visit destination for those intrigued by Mexico's ancient civilizations. The Sacrificial Stone the Stone of Tizoc is a captivating archaeological discovery that has perplexed researchers for decades. This substantial stone was unearthed in Mexico City in 1791 and is believed to have Aztec origins. 
It derives its name from Tizoc, an Aztec ruler who reigned from 1481 to 1486. This remarkable artifact, composed of volcanic stone, measures over 11 feet long and stands more than 5 feet wide. Adorned with intricate carvings and hieroglyphics, the Stone of Tizoc depicts scenes encompassing warfare, sacrifice, and mythology. Despite extensive research, the purpose and significance of the carvings on the Stone of Tizoc continue to elude scholars. Some posit that these carvings may narrate pivotal events in Aztec history or mythology, while others suggest they could serve as propaganda to glorify Tizoc's reign. One hypothesis proposes that the Stone of Tizoc may have played a role in sacrificial rituals, in line with the Aztec's practice of human sacrifice. It is conceivable that the stone functioned as a platform for such ceremonies, although concrete evidence to support this notion remains elusive. Another intriguing aspect of the Stone of Tizoc is its apparent celestial alignment. The carvings on the stone correspond with the positions of specific stars and constellations, leading some to speculate about potential astronomical purposes. Despite its numerous mysteries, the Stone of Tizoc is a significant artifact of Aztec culture and history. Its intricate carvings and imposing dimensions continue to captivate researchers and visitors alike. As with many relics, there is still much to be uncovered and understood about this captivating piece of history. Tenochtitlan Tunnel The Aztec Empire's people displayed incredible ingenuity regarding flood control in their grand capital, Tenochtitlan. Facing the challenges of rising waters and torrential rains, they developed a sophisticated flood control system of dikes and waterways to safeguard the city's inhabitants from flooding. Additionally, the city featured advanced dam systems to harvest rainwater while protecting low-lying areas from floods. However, the Spanish invaders who later arrived in the region didn't appreciate the significance and efficacy of this indigenous infrastructure. During the brutal Spanish colonization period, they neglected to invest in the maintenance of these flooding control systems. They only acknowledged their value after devastating floods in the 1600s resulted in significant loss of life in Tenochtitlan. It wasn't until 2019 that Mexico's National Institute of Anthropology and History made a monumental discovery, one of the tunnels from the original flood control system. This archaeological find provided a deeper insight into the sophisticated city planning mechanisms of the Aztec civilization, showcasing their unparalleled engineering skills. Additionally, the archaeological team uncovered pre-Hispanic glyphs within the tunnel, totaling 11 symbols which carried profound historical significance. These tunnels were linked to the construction of the Albaradon de Acatepec, and the non-Hispanic labor force from towns like Acatepec and Chicanotla left their mark on the structure. The archaeologists were thrilled with this groundbreaking discovery, which shed light on the collaboration between different communities in creating these engineering marvels. However, the tunnel had to be sealed off due to unforeseen circumstances, leading to speculations and conspiracy theories. Some wondered if hidden sinister secrets existed, while others pondered whether the tunnels were once used for nefarious activities. The actual reason for sealing the tunnel was more straightforward. The Mexican government lacked the necessary funds to conduct further research or preservation efforts. To prevent potential vandalism or deterioration, the decision was made to close the tunnel. Aztec Temple. As you leisurely walk through Mexico City, it's easy to overlook the hidden layers of history beneath your feet. In 2017, the National Institute of Anthropology and History made a groundbreaking discovery, unearthing the remnants of a colossal Aztec temple that once graced the vicinity of today's Zocalo Plaza. The Institute conducted a series of excavations and unearthed a spacious temple dedicated to Hecate, the wind god worshipped by the Aztecs. The wind god held immense significance in Aztec religion, as he was seen as the creator who breathed life into humanity. Appeasing him was paramount, because if Hecate became displeased, it could lead to calamity and loss of life. Thus, this snakebird deity held a prominent position in the Aztec pantheon, explaining his temple's careful design and coiled snake-like appearance. Historical records indicate that the temple was used from 1481 to 1519, making it over 500 years old. However, the temple's history goes beyond spirituality and worship, as it is associated with the dark practice of human sacrifices aimed at pleasing Hecate. Archaeologists discovered 32 severed neck vertebrae in the temple pits, indicating the sacrifices made to appease this god. The victims ranged from infants to adults, 
and the various body parts found suggest that the bodies were left exposed as offerings to the gods. The dreadful practice of human sacrifice ended with the arrival of Spanish invaders in the city. They dismissed the ancient traditions of the civilization and paid no heed to the spiritual significance of temples like the one dedicated to the god of wind. Instead, they built their infrastructure on top of these notable sites to suppress Mesoamerican influence. As the archaeological site is on private property, further excavation becomes challenging. The owner plans to construct a hotel on the land but is committed to preserving the magnificent discoveries that have left experts and the public astounded and deeply moved. Thank you for watching another episode of Voyager. While you are still here, click on the video on your screen to see more mind-blowing videos like this one.